Is Meghan Markle trying to bump Martha Stewart off of her lifestyle brand throne? Why do I ask? Well, there's plenty of puff pieces in publication recently that's comparing the two women as if they're in each other's orbit. As we all know, that's not really true. But the puff pieces are out there and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Now, we all know that celebrities and public figures do reach out to elite media outlets to put out positive puff pieces right on time that there's a project that's out there or they may even use these media outlets to cover up negative press they may be receiving. So this is just common practice and that's part of what a PR firm does for a client. They'll put out pieces, reach out to these media outlets and give, feed them this information that they want these outlets to put out there, whether it's on social media, articles, a segment of a show, you know, whatever that may be, they all do it. Marketing 101. And this practice is like criticized as a form of indirect advertising and public re relations manipulations of the media happens all the time. Unethical, but it happens. With this in mind, it gives us insight into the mind of Meghan Markle because it makes me understand where, where her next move is. I've been reading a lot of articles recently, which I'll go over one today, where you can see the, the comparison of Meghan Markle and Martha Stewart. Like why, why in the world, why in the world would anybody write an article loosely about Meghan Markle being compared to Martha Stewart? That's not something I think anybody would just come up with out of their own um, volition. That, that sounds like a puff piece that was handed to this media outlet to put out there because that's what Meghan Markle and her team wants you to do. They want you to compare her to Martha Stewart because she's coming out with this, this lifestyle brand and she's coming out with this cooking show on Netflix. And so therefore they're trying to fixate your mind and put it in the place of you thinking of her, of the next Martha Stewart when she's not the next Martha Stewart. So sorry. Humble and hardworking are not two attributes that I would use to describe Meghan Markle. Not in the slightest. Today, I'm going to go over a few very good reasons why Martha Stewart should know that she should sit very comfortably unbothered on her lifestyle throne and pedestal while Meghan Markle continues to aim at it. She's not going to be able to get onto that level. It took years hard work to garner organically respect of the people to have the following that she has. Meghan has a lot of cleanup to do before. You know, it's almost, I have said this in the video before, you cannot cook in a dirty kitchen. And she's got so much dirt going on with her family drama from her own father's side, the royal family side. And then she's got so many projects that are out there, her countless attacks on the royal family, Princess Catherine as she's going through cancer treatment. And then she's trying to launch a brand where she has people buy into her. She has too many people that don't like her. She has to clean her kitchen before she can start cooking out of it. But anyway, we're going to get into that. So go grab your tea and meet me right back here. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Carla and I'm a royal watcher. I really appreciate you being here. But before we even move on, I do want to say thank you so much to all of the new subscribers recently because I had a goal. I wanted to get to 500 and I finally made it. So thank you so much because it's been a long haul. I know that's not a big goal, but it means the world to me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you enjoy royalty, jewelry, gossip, this is your channel because that's what I do here. My next goal is a thousand. I won't let you down. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Now, I want to settle this for once and for all. This is why Martha Stewart is the queen of domesticity. We're going to talk about that. Martha Stewart has been crafting, cooking, and DIYing since before there were even hashtags. She's been doing it forever. She's been doing it well. She has also had her ups and downs. She's been through peaks and valleys. She's been through a lot and she deserves to be where she is. If you follow Martha, I'm not a follower, like a hardcore follower, but I do have Martha Stewart cookware that I bought from Macy's years ago. There was a whole big scandal with Macy's and JCPenney's at one point because they were fighting for her label. And I still do have Martha Stewart Christmas ornaments that I got from Kmart when she had her line, her Christmas ornament lines when Kmart existed. It's closed now, but whatever. But Martha Stewart's been around for a while. I think that my Christmas decorations are at least like 25 years old. 
Really? Matter of fact, I'm gonna show it to you. Hold on, be right back. Martha Stewart's brand, I believe, is called Martha Stewart Every Day, but this is from, I got this from Kmart when Kmart was still around. And it's two different color bulbs. I'm gonna show you. Matter of fact, they were like $4.99 for this box. Look at that. Oh my gosh. But anyway, look at this. These are Martha Stewart, just glass ornaments, but the, the hangers are really cool. I, I've had this thing, I mean, it has to be at least like 15 years now, but I got this from Kmart and Kmart is out of business now. But look at the hangers, which are really cute. You just hang your <laughs> little bulb on that. And I decorate my, I'm gonna put up a picture of my tree. My tree is gorgeous. I still use these to this day. Martha Stewart is the bomb. And then I have her cookware, which um, I think is even equivalent. I used to have her stainless steel collection and it's tri-ply and they don't, I don't think they sell it anymore, but it was like equivalent to all clad. I have all clad also, and it is just as amazing as all clad. And it doesn't have, I mean, I actually should do a home segment to, cause I'm well into the home lifestyle stuff. So Meghan Markle, you got some pretty big shoes to fill if you're going to really try to put yourself on the level of Martha Stewart and the likes of, you don't belong there as of yet. You're gonna teach us about friendship, cooking, and all that. Martha knew what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. And as far as I'm concerned, she has street cred out the wazoo. She is cool with my boy Snoop. I mean, Martha is like, you know, Martha's got it going on. I don't see how you can <laughs> compare yourself to her. But anyway, the article I'm reading is from the New York Post and it reads, is Meghan Markle the next Martha Stewart? Duchess is delaying jam launch for the, this strategic reason, experts. So basically, this is an explanation as to why she has no product yet, why this hasn't properly launched. So now it's a puff piece to let you know this is the reason why. And it was all strategically done. This flop launch, it was all done on purpose. And it really wasn't. But anyway, I'm going to read it. Is Meghan Markle in a jam? The Duchess of Sussex announced the launch of her lifestyle label, American River Orchard, back in March. But more than four months on there's still no word on when the brand's products hit, will hit the shelves. Markle released a slick Instagram video unveiling her high-end brand March 14th, which will purportedly produce gourmet jam and dog biscuits. Okay, now let's talk about that really quick before I go into this article. Now, where are my real true royal watchers? Because you should remember that Meghan Markle launched ARO on Instagram the night of the Diana Award when Prince William was giving a speech. This evening's Legacy Award is particularly special as it marks the 25th anniversary year of the Diana Award. That's when she decided to launch her brand when William was giving a speech about his beloved mother, Princess Diana. How disrespectful was that? And then Harry, I think, even gave a speech that same night. And she launched this product on the same night for no apparent reason because she didn't even have product. And then shortly after, the next time she did really, she did put out a couple of, I guess she sent out 50, 50 jars of jams to some of her celebrity friends that a few of them put, I guess, Instagram posts, Nacho being one of them. Uh, Kris Jenner even put out a small post, didn't say much. All she said was, thank you. <laughs> and then like, you know, for the jam and the wilted looking lemon that she got with it, um, it was just so uninspiring. And then... Uh, the next time she did put something out was when it was the Troop in the Color when Princess Catherine announced that she was going to be present for Troop in the Color. And then we got another sneak peek of raspberry jam and there was only two jars that apparently went out at that point and there's still no product after that. So, I mean, I don't even know what to make of that, but we're just going to go on with the article. But I'm going to say that the only thing that I can see that Meghan Markle is doing is she is just being a thorn and the royal family side because she's launching things on dates and at times that is completely disrespectful to the royal family and it's for no reason because there's no product it could have waited the holy grail is creating an entire lifestyle ecosystem look at what gordon ramsay or martha stewart has done it's about creating a symbiotic relationship between cookbooks tv shows and products so they all feed each other using a well-funded tv show that someone else is paying for to advertise your product seems like a great commercial strategy to me. And that really is. But, but, first of all, we don't even know anything about this cooking show. We just know that it's about friendships and, uh, wait, cooking, gardening, and friendships, I think, or something like that. And she 
does as far as we know none of those things and it is a wonderful strategy when you use your product during your show you can drive people to your website or drive people to your product to buy that like for instance when rachel ray was doing her cooking show i mean she came out with the whole thing garbage bowl where she puts it on a countertop and now she sells those garbage bowls people to this day still use garbage bowls i use garbage bowls so i always of course have a big bowl on the counter so i could just throw my scraps in there and we call it the garbage bowl so that it all interlinks and ties in together but that's not what Meghan markle was doing when she ran, when she launched american riviera orchard she launched that on the night of the diana award when prince william was due to do a speech her intent was not to promote her product her intent was to be a thorn in the side of prince william and to be basically a whatever you want to fill the blank in with during that time because there was no need to launch that at that point she had no product so that's what megan's intent was it's not to tie in and bring you into her product so that she can sell more she doesn't even have her product out for you to buy she's only given it to her celebrity friends we don't really know what it tastes like no one has given a real descriptive thing about it chrissy teigen did some weird commercial with cheese dripping down her mouth with john legend i mean it was just bizarre that was bizarre in itself, but as far as Meghan Markle is concerned, she was not launching that because of her product and her show. She was putting that out there because she was trying to ride off the coattails of the royal family or and be a thorn in their side and launch that and be disrespectful because at the end of the day, that's really what that was. Markle wrapping up filming her cooking show last month, but release date has not been announced yet. The Post contacted the Duchess rep for comment on when American Riviera Orchard products are going to be expected to hit the shelves. Markle has not directly discussed her lifestyle brand, but has sent out samples of her jam to celebrities, including Kris Jenner and Mindy Kaling. The announcement of American Riviera Orchard came days before Markle's estranged sister-in-law, Princess Kate, announced her shocking cancer diagnosis prompting some speculation that the Duchess may delay the release until the future queen receives a clean bill of health. Now that's, mm -mm. you. this is not algebra and it does not require you to be a genius to know that that is absolutely not true because Meghan cannot care less about Princess Catherine or her clean bill of health. She does not care because I still think there were hidden messages in the raspberry jam that was launched the morning of or the day of Troop in the Color when Princess Catherine was coming back into the spotlight after being out of the spotlight for several months receiving cancer treatment. Now all of a sudden, Megan has a soft spot and have some consideration for her and it's gonna, no. That's just saying, oh yeah, this is the reason why I'm not launching it. It's because I'm with, she doesn't have any product and she's not launching it because she doesn't have any product. And she's using Princess Catherine getting a clean bill of health as an excuse to make it seem like she's not a mean girl, which she is, but anyway. However, a second brand expert it believes it's more likely that Markle will launch American Riviera Orchard at the same time as her Netflix show goes live. Everyone has to abide by Netflix's schedule these days, Brangu and Nora, no, wait, Nora Lawler declares they are by far the biggest player in town. Very, very true. However, both brand experts believe that the launch of the brand could still be risky for the Duchess. From a strategic and branding perspective, if you suggest you're going to launch something, but then four months later, nothing happened, the world moves on. Claiming initial interest in the items may have waned. And that's very true because people pretty much were like, what's going on? Where is everything? The only thing she did was actually promote other people's jams because everyone was waiting for her jam, which she made not available to anyone but celebrity people. And just a few people came out to even show that they received this jam. We don't know where 40 of those jars are. We only know about where about 10 of them are. And, you know, what happened was King Charles has a, a high grove. He has a jam there. And he put out, you know, his jam was like sold off the shelves because people were buying in protest to her. And he sold out of his, even I think even his honey. And then it was so funny because the royal family just so subtly put out this really shady 
ad on Instagram about how do you dig your jam and it was like showing the toast and biscotti or biscuit or whatever they use over there. Scone, I think it is. And it was such a dig. It was hilarious. But you know what? Couldn't have happened to a better person. To allow some anticipation to build is not a strategy I would disagree with, especially as it enables her to test her credibility and see if she gets laughed out of town as a jam, jam maker before risking a penny. Johnson added, personally, I'm not sure the world needs more jams, but maybe I'm wrong. No, the world doesn't need more jams. Why jam anyway? That's just weird. See, I don't understand. Like she, I think she's, I think she um was, I think what people are saying is that she stole that idea from Flamingo Estate. And I'm starting to believe that. That's just the way Meghan Markle operates. She just does things the way she wants to do it. And I don't believe she listens to the experts that probably try to advise her so that she can be successful. I think she thinks she's the smartest person in the room all the time. She does seem like she's a very difficult person to work with. So I can only imagine that that's probably, she's like to her own detriment, her own worst enemy. I keep saying that. So Meghan Markle thinks she's got that Markle sparkle that's going to propel her into this lifestyle brand and put her into this stratosphere with these successful people that have been doing this for decades and have built their empire from the ground up. Megan is more glam than grit all day long. So I really don't see how ARO is going to be successful. I'm not putting it out there to knock it, but you know, it's just really difficult to see or take her seriously because she hasn't put in the work. And who are you to talk to me about friendship and family when you don't even talk to all of yours? Megan brings the sparkle, but Martha brings the substance. Just to give you an example of the level that Martha Stewart is on that people can look at and think, you know, okay, okay. Martha Stewart was on a cruise. I think they were going from Greenland to Iceland or it could be the other way around. And along their travels, they came across an iceberg. So they chipped off a block of this iceberg and decided to use this ice to have cocktails that evening. And she's sitting on this boat in this beige room, this luxurious beige room, and she's drinking a cocktail with iceberg ice. But you know what? Martha could do that. Martha can do that. Now, coming from someone like Megan, like why in the world would I think that that's impressive? It's like, you haven't put in any hard work. All you did was marry Harry and ruin his life. And you cannot possibly teach me about friends, friendship or anything like, or family or anything like that when you can't even get it right in your own life. It, matter of fact, here's a tip. I hope you're watching, Megan. If you want people to buy into anything, try being authentic. That's why Snoop Dogg was so successful at the Olympics this year. He was like our mascot for the United States. Beloved. Everyone was just like, he was just really cool. He went all around to different events and games it wasn't scripted he was genuine and authentically himself and that was really cool but as scripted as you are and instagram being known for being just completely fake that's probably why you're so drawn to instagram people mostly do TikTok now anyway but you're not authentic and so i can't even accept from you you drinking a cocktail from an iceberg because I'm like, who are you? Where did you come from? This little organism called Megan, whatever. So it's like, you gotta build up to it. You have to get like an organic growth, which is why I'm very proud of my little 500 subscribers because I started from one and I was my very first subscriber. And although 500 is absolutely not a lot at all, and it's been organic, and I have really cool people that inspire me every single day that I put out a video, which I totally appreciate, but it's organic growth. That's what Megan doesn't want to do. She doesn't want to do the hard work. Just like me doing this video now, it's not very easy. I had to come home from work as tired as I am, do all of the things I have to do at home, and then find time to do this and edit it. It's hard. Megan had everything handed to her and she still didn't complete some of the tasks like Spotify had a complete studio built into her her mansion and she couldn't even get that right. I'm not going to sit here and completely destroy her because I'll save that for other things. I'm sure there'll be more things to come. The royal family is, I think, on vacation in Balmoral. With that being said, I will see you in a couple of days because I'm quite sure Megan will be around 
up to Megan doing no good. And so I will be reporting on that. We still need to hear about Nigeria because I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe she's going to surprise us all and show us some Nigerian recipes because she is 43% Nigerian, remember? So perhaps her cooking show will show us some of the foods that she's learned about since she's discovered her 43% Nigerian roots and we can learn some delicious recipes. I highly doubt she's going to do that, but that would be something that she should be considering because nothing she does ties into another. She jumps from one project to the next with no substance, which is why she is absolutely shallow. But I digress. If you enjoyed my content, if you enjoyed today's show, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you would like to be notified anytime I drop a new video. And thank you so much for all of my new subscribers. And I hope to see you soon. I will put a video out in just maybe a day or so. I have been trying to put it out there. It's hard, guys, but I do appreciate you because you do make me want to do and be better. So I will do that for you. See you next time. Please click like and subscribe.